start on the phones in uh, in Pullman, Washington. Jeff, great to have you, sir. You're on the EIB network. Hello. Uh, good morning, Rush. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, sir, very much. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm calling in regard to the, uh, the debates, and um, I thought it was very interesting. Uh, in the post, uh, post-debate, um, Gasparino was making comments. Um, and oh, he- yes, I saw, you know, I'm glad you made this point. I saw that last night. I was going nuts. Let me guess what you're talking about, the subject of bailing out a, a, a hypothetical uh, Bank of America. Right. Bailout and Jeb and Kasich got into it with Cruz and Trump, primarily Cruz over what to do about this. Yep. And Gasparino, who was it was uh, Charles Gasparino, was a business correspondent, Fox Business Network. Post debate said he couldn't believe it. The two candidates on that stage who actually worked in the banking business hadn't the slightest idea what they were talking about, given the circumstance that was set up, the hypothetical problem Bank American trouble having to be bailed out. They didn't know what they were talking about, right? Yes. Yeah, that's, I thought that was uh, an interesting comment. And then I uh, also later, um, they were having one, uh, one-on-one uh, interviews with uh, both uh, uh, Cruz uh, and... Um, and Kasich, and Kasich mentioned how he was uh, distressed at the idea that um, these banks, big banks, would not be bailed out because of what it would do to the depositors. Right. And then Cruz came along later when in his uh, one-on-one interview, and uh, the same thing was brought up with him, and and he. Uh, said in regard to the depositors, well, they're insured through the FDIC. Exactly. Exactly. There's when that happened. You know, I'm. I, there are times I scream at the TV during these things, and I was screaming at the TV a lot when Kasich was on last night. Just and when this, uh, what was he doing to make me scream? Just I, I'll get to that in a minute. But I, I want to close the loop on this story because. This is a good point Gasparino made. Both Kasich and Jeb Bush worked at banks following their, in the bridge period between political jobs. You know, Jeb governor and sits on boards here and boards there and works at a bank. And Kasich did the same thing and doesn't know the first thing about how banks operate. So here comes a question. If Bank of America is teetering on the edge, would you bail them out? These are business network guys asking the question. And by the way, the business network guys all think B of A, in the scenario they established, should be bailed out. You can't let something that big fail. You've got to save it. And Kasich, of course, agreed on the basis, you can't, my God, you can't let a, oh, my God, you, it's just crazy. You people, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't have any idea what, you know, I've done it. I've done it. I have run for office and I've done with governor. My dad was a mailman. My uncle was a coal miner. I have served. And I know the families and I know suffering. And you guys, you have your conservative philosophy and it's great and it's great and it's great. But until you get into office, you don't find that it's worthless. You got to be a good liberal like I've become in order to govern. And you guys don't know the first thing about it. You can't let the families go belly up like this. You you have to bail about, you have to bail about, what are the families, the families, the families, the coal miners, the mailmen, you've got to bail about. And I'm shouting at the TV, they're all insured, Governor. The FDIC insures what? The FDI insures every depositor up to $250,000. If you don't bail out B of A, the depositors at least get something. Most people are going to get everything they've got in the bank up to two fifty. dollars but they're not left dry. Kasich didn't know it. And even after it was pointed out, he kept, he didn't change his position and stayed locked on the, you can't, you can't, you, you've got to bail them out, you can't let them fail. The families, oh my God, the families, oh geez, the mentally ill and the sick, the hungry and thirsty, oh my God, I've worked with them, I've dealt with them. Screw this philosophy. You can do philosophy all day. And I don't like that line, welders make more than philosophers. Philosophers, I'll take welders any day. Over. Mailmen, coal miners, whatever the hell. But I've done it, and you haven't. Now, what am I doing here? You people are stupid. You're ruining our party. What happened to our party? What happened to conservatism? And the people on the panel are saying, no, what happened to you? But the caller here is exactly right. 
Is that what you were looking for? <laughs> uh, and Jeb didn't know it either. And they both worked at banks. Now, what does it tell you? No show jobs. Like Michelle's at the hospital. She have to show up. Get this gig for three hundred grand while you know Obama's sucking down what twelve thousand as a state senator. So they have to go there and make some money, and she gets a no-show job based on the power and influence of her husband. She have to show up maybe once, twice a month. Well, the elites take care of each other. No-show job. You've heard of no-show jobs? You know, I mean, many. Well, you ever, you ever seen a union job? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. I like my kneecaps. The